Welcome to Movie Mind, y'all. What up? What's cracking? Hey. Guys, we have a, a few things to talk about about today that's right we have um we're gonna be talking about the box office out of the box right we have a lot of a lot of interesting things going on brand new movies coming out right yes. it's it was a little the same last week but uh yeah. we also have benny off and weiss and weiss uh leaving this new star wars trilogy we're gonna be talking about that and also we'll be talking about the streaming wars beginning this month i know i think that they've always been going around but right this month is when the things drop. It really starts. Yeah, it yeah. starts really happening. So stay tuned. Let's talk about it. Yep. So, Anthony. So hey, uh, yeah, box office guys. Uh, well, uh, first off, we I'll start from uh, number five. Number five is uh, the Adams Family with seven point two million. <laughs> it's making. And actually, mm-hmm. it's a pretty good movie from what I hear. You know, I haven't seen it yet, but I think I'll I hear catch it's pretty... it on Netflix. Or something. Um, I have no idea what Harriet is. It's Harriet Tubman. Okay, a movie about her. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I'm really interested in watching it. I I just kind of forgot that it was coming I out. Didn't this know. Week. I didn't know. I had no idea yeah. that they were making a movie about her. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I'm excited it's, to watch uh, from that. From Focus, I believe. Yeah, from Focus. Okay, yeah, they made yeah. some pretty good movies. That yeah. studio is pretty legit. Uh, yeah. Then uh, it make it made uh, nine point eight million, which is pretty respectful mm-hmm. for a movie that's I, I haven't heard about. So yeah. I'm sure they didn't do a lot of marketing. Mm-hmm. Um, and the number three spot is Maleficent. Maleficent. It gets beat again by Joker. <clears throat> and now, you guys, I know today is Saturday, and we won't have the official numbers basically mm-hmm. till till Monday or the end of Sunday. But these are projections already, and they're pretty spot on on what uh, they say. Um, so uh, yeah, so it's a yeah. uh, ten million uh, Maleficent, and then Joker beat it out by a considerable amount of mm-hmm. thirteen million. Uh, that's what I'm sorry. Joker made thirteen million, so yeah. it beat it by ab- about two million and a half. You know, because yeah, it made because uh, Maleficent made. 10.8 yeah and then at the and no surprise here right uh this week what came out is uh terminator dark fate fate mm-hmm. uh with 35 million again these numbers might be a little less or might be a little more but around about 35 million it's what it's gonna make when um when this weekend is over yeah so what do you think about all that stuff man so i'm just happy to see kind of new movies on the top five yeah. um i was kind of getting bored of seeing the same three four movies right um even though you we do have like joker and stuff like that but harriet and um terminator being there is great um i'm really surprised that um you know what came out this week right also the irishman netflix's irishman right in select yeah cities, in select right. cities yeah and in, in la i looked it up and it was like super far it's it's extremely far from us like uh, an hour and 20 minutes or something so like that. Far. but like it's really select i thought there were gonna be it, it was gonna be more of a launch it, i mean it's a martin scorsese film first right. off and um it's like the talk of the town right now so for them to only have one theater in la That's playing funny. it it's crazy so it should at least be in five or four four or something like that well but not showing up is, is kind of disappointing especially with the money it took it to make it yeah 200 million yeah. well netflix i don't know what's going on but i guess they're really trying to keep it in the in the in the streaming service which i think is kind of a it's kind of let down i i think that they should have launched a little bit more i think more people would have gone if they would have pushed for it, this release yeah, that's true. My big one is is the Joker beating Maleficent, man. Yeah, they really spent a lot of money on Maleficent, man. They they really I don't remember exactly how much money they spent, but I know yeah. they've they've suffered already, and it only made another ten million. I know it's not doing that bad overseas, though. I've okay, heard, you know, so yeah. yeah, Terminator Dark Fate. I know you went to go watch it. We're gonna have a review about it later. Mm-hmm. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah. but uh, yeah, I've heard some really good things. Man. Yeah, man. I I think that this movie is underperforming right now is a 35 million okay and it costs like 180 million to make right so that's like not good at all and it's unfortunate because just just to give you guys a little little teaser of it like i really enjoyed this movie like it's not genesis or like salvation you remember those movies even though i like salvation a little bit but this movie man this is the true sequel to judgment day Right. It really is. That's cool. It really is. I'm super excited to watch it. Cast is great. The storyline and the writing, 
man, I was really impressed. I was really That's impressed cool. by it. I was, I was, I was surprised. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited to uh, see what's next in the franchise. If they get to make another movie, because this is underperforming incredibly, yeah. like it's it's sad. So it's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Well, yeah. there you have it, guys. Go see it, guys. If I know this is this is Monday and stuff like that, just please go see the movie. It's so good. Like yeah. I, I think it's I've it's worth things. it's worth people's watch. That's my opinion. But hey, Terminator number one, Joker two, Maleficent three. There's your yep. box office. There it goes, guys. There it goes. All right. So let's move on to Hot Tops. Let's do it. All right. And the first one is a Star Wars news because that's what we we're have priorities about. here. We have priorities. <laughs> dang it. And we're going to talk about Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars is a way of life now. That's the way of life. Um, so big news coming out. From the studio, from different sources, actually, uh, D- uh, David Benioff and uh, Weiss uh, are exiting out of Star Wars. Um, the new trilogy that was set to come out within three de- three years from now, um, it's uh, it's said that they have exited out, and there's no like specific reason why per se. Mm-hmm. They haven't really announced it, but it's, I get, oh yeah, you know what? I, they Creative did say that, no, 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 no. Imagine like again, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they, they said that they were too busy. Oh, I see. Okay. I believe that. Because they signed a Netflix contract right. for, I think a 200 million, oh, wow. 200 million contract or a hundred something. It was close to 200, 200 million. And so these guys sign up with, the, with Netflix mm-hmm. to create original content, new films, all being released on Netflix. So this was like a blitz for Netflix to really push content out. And so, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, it's no surprise that uh, Netflix is is doing these big moves in in the sense of offering that kind of uh, money, two hundred million, to yeah. uh, to these people. Only you right away the, the the thought is they know Disney Disney Plus is coming, mm-hmm. and so. Uh, when you know something, an entity like something like that is coming, and absolutely, they're they're giving good deals for it for the first two years, and mm-hmm. the content that's going to be bucks. on there, they know Amazing. that they're going to have to compete. <clears throat> they're going to have to compete mm-hmm. to with Disney Plus, and so yeah. what's the best way of doing it by getting these two guys and making them exit. <laughs> making them exit out Star of something Wars. like this and exiting out Star Wars and like- yeah. And so I'm sure they're Man. they're giving them a free range over there at Netflix to create whatever they want. So um, it's it's yeah, it looks yeah. like it's it makes sense. I'm just I'm really like disappointed in this. To be yeah. quite honest with you, um, David uh, David and Benioff and Weiss, they 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 had a great run with Game of Thrones. And so if you guys don't know, they they were the show producers, runners, and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. They wrote and uh, filmed a lot of the show. And as you guys may know or may not know, that's that's like the biggest show in in history thus yep. far. And highest ratings, highest production, and all these other stuff. As a matter of fact, a lot of people are taking note from this show to create content for their own shows. You know what I mean? And so like if you really look back at it, um, this show was the first big science, uh, I'm sorry, fantasy uh, show uh-huh. at its scale. You know what I mean? And so a lot of people are taking taking note from that. Right. These guys are leading like producers and directors and writers. And to have them exit out of Star Wars, it's a big letdown for me. I, I really am disappointed in Lucasfilm. I'm disappointed in Kathleen Kennedy, the the uh, manager uh, there at uh, at uh, Lucasfilm, and it's it sucks, man, because this has been happening a lot. It's happened to Josh Trank. I don't know if you remember Colin Trevorrow, which was going to do Episode Nine, which I'm kind of happy that he's not doing it. Right. Episode Nine, um, Phil Lord mm-hmm. and Chris Miller, right? Um, I'm just I'm just tired of just hearing directors leave Star Wars. You know what I mean? I'm just getting frustrated with it, man. Like these guys had the, the like the future franchise, like future franchise. And from what I heard, I don't know if you know this, they are, were gonna be doing the origins of the Jedi. I've heard of the of Jedi it. Order. I heard of it. I'm not sure, <clears throat> but I think I heard it from you. If anything, <clears throat> well, that that was speculation. But once oh, they exited out, that's 
this has oh, been this reported. Is, this is what they was gonna. They happen. were they were literally gonna do oh, that. Oh wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, wow, that would have been amazing. Mm. Just to like a Jedi origin. That I mean, I would. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to watch something Dude. like that? And they could still do it. Yeah, yeah, they could still do it. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. But with the mind, I don't know what kind of minds, because the people that were <clears throat> right there already established that were going to do these things. I mean, these are the guys that brought you a lot of the stuff that's been going on now. And mm-hmm. so it's it's hard to think that they could get it right again. Yeah. You know, and so you, you worry when some of these guys at, at the level that they're at exit a project like this. And again, it's two hundred million dollars. Who wouldn't, you know? Who wouldn't yeah, leave but something? The for... legacy. So this is I, I started thinking about what they're doing and the legacy that they'll they were able to leave with Star Wars would have been something paramount to anything else. Like I, I feel like they could have yeah. done something amazing, though throughout the last few years, with e- even having Ryan Johnson having so much backlash for the Last Jedi, yeah. and how fans just kind of like it's so divided and people just hate. And Ryan that's, Johnson there's and something those, to be said with that. Issue. They might have left because of stuff like be, that. Be, because it's hard to make everyone happy no. and be scrutinized. Yeah, there's going to be a lot yeah. of people that love it, but then there's going to be people like me too that I'm like, I can't believe they did that. Now. I'm always going to appreciate, but there's a lot of people that are all yeah. always trying to be, you know, they're mean about things. Yeah. They're like really reckless about how they go about, you know, saying that, oh, he shouldn't it's be touching. Especially uh, on Twitter. You should sp- see the people tweet at Ryan Johnson like crazy stuff, bro. Like, So yeah. that's probably it, $200 million <clears throat> and not have to deal with headaches from people <clears throat> telling you that you right. ruined their childhood. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's. <laughs> it's one of those things. I mean, I think all of those things have to be taken into account. They're so freaking talented, though, and that, and I guess that's kind of cool to see that they're going to do original stuff. I see why they might have just gone with Netflix and done that. But it might it's just, created it, a new Star Wars, man. It might create the new, uh, you know, the new way of looking at a new franchise. Right. You might. You you might be right. They're like, wow, we have the capability of working on Star Wars, the biggest franchise in history. If we are capable of working with that, then we are capable of creating a new Star Wars. Yeah. That's possibly true. That's it. That's possibly a mentality. I'm, I'm a I little like that. bummed out that they're that they're gone too. Yeah. Obviously, but yeah. I don't know. I think yeah. they're gonna do the right thing. I think they're gonna be removing Kathleen Kennedy. Honestly, dude, this is it. This after Mandalorian or an Episode Nine come out. It's gone. Kathleen Kennedy's gone. Yeah, like she's. It's, it's all I'm tired. Be, it's all gonna be Feige now, right? Look, she. Well, no, uh, Kevin Feige is over um, something in Marvel. He's like the president of some creative. But nothing on the Star Wars side? Yeah, nothing on the Star oh, Wars. That sucks. So that Kevin Feige is going to be producing or directing a film for mm-hmm. Star Wars. Like, So there's one there's one idea that I guess they're running with that he pitched to Kathy Kennedy, and they loved it. And why not have Kevin Feige do a Star Wars film? That's amazing. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm down for that. Kevin you know Feige I mean? is the one that brought you all the Avengers, guys. Everything and all you the love. Marvel movies. Everything that you have on your t-shirts and stuff like that, it's Kevin Feige. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool, man. That's so cool. you know we'll see what what happens. Yeah, um, let us know what you guys think. You guys comment below, man. Are excited about good. them going to Netflix? Are you bummed out that they're not staying with Star Wars? Let us know, guys. Comment below. All right, man. All right. So the next topic that we want to discuss is kind of along the lines of what we already started talking about is streaming wars. Mm-hmm. And so, as you all know, you probably have heard this um, this term be used before. But really, when Netflix released their streaming service, it's it was the first big blow to the industry, um, showing that people do not want to go to the movies all the time, and they don't want to have a cable subscription service all the time. So, yeah, they changed the game. And now, with Hulu out there, and then um, HBO Go, stuff like that. There's a new services coming out with HBO Max, right? Disney's Disney's Plus, right? And um, Apple TV, Apple TV, a- Apple TV, uh, Apple Plus. Apple I think Plus, it's called Apple Plus. Yeah. And there's so many other like other there's big, just so many, random so many. Ones, guys. Uh, Peacock is another one, which is ABC's original um, content, which yeah. they're going to be doing. Um, there's so many, so many stuff. And so there's, there's just a few, uh, um, titles, news, uh, uh, titles that we want to bring up. And the first one is HBO max is coming out and they've announced that they're going to be doing an original, um, uh, HBO max series, live action, green lantern, 
uh, show, which is going to be a high budget show with like 200 million um, budget for the first season. And they're just going off on it. And it seems like it's going to be interacting with the DC universe that we have right now. Um, we also have uh, Avatar being announced that they will be releasing on right. uh, on Disney Plus at launch, which is a huge deal. Avatar is the number one. Oh no, it's not the number one gross film, huh? No, it's, it's the second biggest. It's the second struggle. one, but yeah. <clears throat> so you'll on one streaming platform, you'll have two of the biggest, three or four of the biggest movies ever made, and so Disney Plus, HBO Max are coming out with the big guns, man. So let's see who's gonna win this streaming war. This month is the start of Disney Plus. What do you what do you, what's your thoughts on all this? Well, before man? I say anything, only reason why the Avengers the Avengers is higher than Avatar, <laughs> and not because I don't I like the movie more. I like the Avenger movie more. Yeah, is because the Avengers Endgame re released their movie a second time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After it's already been in a, and they released it with some new materials. So yeah, they cheated. <laughs> they kind of cheated. They kind of cheated. So to me, I don't know why, but I still feel like Avatar is number one, even though technically, yeah, it's Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Uh, sure. So first, I have to say that this is reminding me or making me feel like it's gonna come to the point where we're just gonna be like, okay, I want to see Marvel. All right, I have to buy that channel. Now we're buying channels more, like For you franchises. know how before. Before we have cable, right? And we still have cable. I haven't bought cable in forever, but yeah. I'm sure there's cable and we flip through those channels yeah. and we have all of them to our disposal and we can watch whenever. This streaming thing is seeming like I'm going to have to buy every single... If I want to see Marvel, yeah. I got to buy Disney+. Plus. If I want to see Game of Thrones, I have to see HBO. I got to buy the HBO thing. If mm -hmm. I want to see the new channel that uh, the sign or the... Siegfried Girl is coming out. The Girl from Bumblebee is coming out. Right, right. And all that stuff, I have to Apple Plus. If mm -hmm. I want to do that new show, Oprah, Apple Plus. If I Hulu, all these things. Yep. Now, Netflix is not going to have certain things that we wanted, that we used to watch there, that we yeah. were excited about watching. Oh, I'm like, they're probably going to have the new uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And they have it. Now, it's not going to be there anymore. Yep. So... It's making me feel like the more and more these things get created, yeah. they're, the more and more money is going to be spent on us buying every subscription to all these things. Now, don't get me wrong, man. The Disney Plus thing, I feel like it's going to be something really, really, really cool. But at the same time, it's just more money. And it's more, uh, you know, they're doing it this everywhere. So, but yeah, man, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. As far as the HBO content and all these things that are happening and mm -hmm. how they're treating these shows and these series as the same way as Game of Thrones do it, they they care about their production. That's all that is. Yeah. They're making it to a scale to where it makes sense that they're mm -hmm. able to take a motion picture and say, hey, we can use that show to our advantage and and go off of that. I think it's smart. I think right now DC has has a very big opportunity that if they place their chips and their pawns and mm -hmm. their kings and queens in the right place, they're at a very good point in their in their franchise and everything that they're doing yeah. to be able to capitalize on everything that's going on and really make us as fans want to go to these movies even more anticipated to the level of where Marvel had us at. Um, and well, the mm -hmm. only reason why I say that they're in a good place is because Aquaman did really good. Um, Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman did really good. And here comes this little film called Shazam that nobody even thought but it blew it out the park, yeah. and uh, and so it's it's putting it's, it's a good track run right now. Track yeah, right now. and even the stuff that they're doing in the CW with little things and like involving certain characters yeah. together, they're making their friend their their brand, which is mm -hmm. DC, interesting again. They're yeah. making us wonder what they're gonna do next, mm -hmm. and so that's what Marvel did, and I think they're like I said, they're in a very good position to make some really great moves and some really successful films moving forward. Yeah, yeah, I I do feel like this is the perfect move for DC and Warner. Well, well, more more so Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is the one that's that owns HBO Max, and them releasing DC uh, DC shows like what. Disney Plus is going to release and the high budget like Winter Soldier mm -hmm. and the Falcon and stuff like that. That's such a great idea. But the thing is, my 
my speculation on or my hesitation on this is that they chose Green Lantern and Green Lantern sounds like a really high budget CGI Con like con content and they're gonna have to throw a lot of money i'm talking about over 200 million to get this done if they want to do it well and that's the only way you're gonna do it from what i've seen in uh well, cw i yeah. feel like you could get good stories and like fun like you know realities and stuff like that with the low budget but if you want get the get the masses you yeah. need to go big yeah but i know what you're saying about the cg I know that we think that we're in this in this thing about CG costing a lot of money. It does, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But the reason why films get to this 200 million, 180, 80 million is because of a lot of unnecessary things that happen within these films. And if they're able to do it right, right. I'm sure they could do it even for less. But the fact mm -hmm. that they, a lot of people compensate a lot of CG to put in movies because they want people to love it. Yeah. And People that you could ask Kirk uh, Cameron, uh, Ca uh, what's his name from the Terminator movies, uh, yeah. James, Cameron, James Cameron, and all these other successful people <laughs> that have Cameron, done it, the, the they focus <laughs> on story. They yes. focus on on making sure yes. that, that their characters get developed and they spend money on other things right? and pick their moments of yeah, but, CG. Yeah, and but so, you need to get like C like good CG so you have a trailer to draw people. Yeah, like you yeah. need the honey to like bring For sure. people in, you know what I mean? And you can only do that if you really have a big budget. Yeah, and I'm right. really worried about that because I don't know if HBO I, Max I has still the think balls they could do to do it. I think they could still do something really special with even less money than that and still make it work, I think. Yeah. Because a lot of these films are were able to do to do that yeah. and were really, really successful. I think in a in a series it's it's important to develop your characters because you have the chance yeah. to do it in a movie you only get a certain amount of time to really make sure that that character that your work that you worked on really gets noticed and that yeah. he's the highlight of, or one of the highlights right. of the so i think i think you're right the way i would say that they would go about this is because it does say green lantern inspired show so they could do some something like a more origin based show mm -hmm. and because if they do like green lantern core like that's a whole like you like planet of a bunch of Green Lanterns. Like everyone has CGI right. in them, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, but if they go down like on an origin story of how Green Lantern came to be, kind of like that. I kind of like that more a little that's bit more where the indie money would more. Probably go into that. Mm -hmm. That right there is where the money would, would yeah. really get spent. What if they bring Ryan Reynolds back, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reynolds would no! do that to his career. I, I dude, honestly, okay, so yeah, you're probably right about that, but it would have been cool because Ryan Reynolds is awesome as as Hal Jordan. The movie sucked. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But but him as Hal Jordan was was great. I it was cool. That. I think they could get someone else that Yeah, was, they're gonna do that for sure. But um who do you think would 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 be a good Green Lantern? That's you what know, was my question. Was you like, know, I want them to go down the route of um uh, a black Green Lantern. I want that to be um oh, I forgot his name. Um Michael B. Jordan? No, no. Well, yeah, so there's two different types of lanterns. One of them I forgot, but Hal Jordan is the original one. Right. And so from what I've seen in the DC films, they the Green Lantern Corps has already been around on Earth. Mm -hmm. They just haven't really focused on it. So I would like to see an origin story of how that ring was passed on to Hal this Jordan. other this other new um uh, oh, not Green Hal Lantern. Jordan. Not Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan will probably have to be in the series just so that there could be a mantle being passed down. But I really love that because that's that's never been seen, even yeah. in the sucky, I like that. you know, uh, movie. So I would like to see that. Uh, Michael B. Jordan would be phenomenal. Again, I always br I feel like I bring up Michael B. Jordan you every do. single show. Yeah, like but a man dude, crush I freaking him. love that guy, man. I think he's he has a kid do no wrong. So yeah, I think he sucks, man. I really like him. Dude, shut up! Playing, I'm You're like, so, <laughs> so full of crap, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So we'll see what happens. I think who would play a good Al Jordan other than Ryan Reynolds? He was really bad in it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess yeah. I guess it just didn't like it. But yeah. um, I don't know. I think I think I would probably think about someone in the like get someone important in there you know someone that's actually coming up right now i think uh Sh shannon tatum would probably work you know what i mean yeah i could see him shannon as tatum. A, yeah I, I could see him in that but i don't i, I don't Chris think Hemsworth, maybe Ooh, that'd be that'd be a big star i don't think they would do that though i don't think he's he already would. thor yeah 
it would have to be someone like still flying under the radar. I know who. Uh, uh, Jim from The Office. Uh, what's his name? Chris Isky? Yeah, yeah. I think he would do really yeah. good. Yeah. That would yeah. be amazing. He would be amazing in that. He would. I like that casting, bro. Dude, that, that would, would be, be really amazing, good. Huh? That would be great. I would love to see him. Uh, uh, Jack Richard is on uh, Amazon. I forgot yeah. about Amazon, Amazon Prime. Dude, they've been releasing some stuff, dude. Like Jack uh, Jack Ryan or Ryan. Uh, Jack Ryan. I'm yeah, right, yeah. The, 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 the spy. Yeah. Right. Or, um. Anyway. Is it really good? I want to. Dude, watch it's so it. good. It just, season two just came out. I'm I'm about to like once we stop this, <laughs> I'm gonna go to my living room, and we're I'm gonna go like film. I mean, I'm gonna go and watch, uh, it. watch it for sure. So season two. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Do they have all the season, or they just release one by one? They have the whole. Is it the whole season? I don't know. I think they. I think they release it one by one. Actually. Oh okay. I, I believe if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, you know what? No, it's bingeable. It's it, it, yeah bingeable, yeah you have to, yeah. you could binge watch it. So yeah, so I'm excited about that, and I would love to see him as yeah. Hal Jordan. Yeah, me too. I think he, that was that's good cast. So let me ask you one final question before we leave, guys. So um, if you had fifteen dollars to your name every single month in your budget for um for a streaming service, what are you picking? Let's say twenty dollars because Netflix is like fourteen bucks already. So twenty dollars, what would you do? Oh man, of course, bro. Come on, that goes without saying. No, it's definitely Disney Plus. Disney Plus for sure, no doubt about that. I just, you know, you want to watch the Marvel stuff, you want to watch the Star Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. That is just like, a, it's a no-brainer. But honestly, dude, I love Netflix too, I guess. I, even though I'm not like a big, I don't watch too much stuff on Netflix all the time. But I still love the, just how easy it is to get on it and watch it. The, the streaming you wars, do you, do you think in 10 years we'll, we'll, we'll look back and we'll be like, wow, Netflix really pulled that off. And like now they're like Disney now. I think I think there's always going to be a demand for for that second place. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think that Disney is not going anywhere. They're just a there there's nobody could compete with them yeah so they're gonna win that battle but i think there's a respectful thing to say when for netflix that are, yeah. it's always going to be around i mean it's for now at least for now um just doing the stuff that they're doing i think the, the respectful n- number two like yeah. you know how marvel and dc how <laughs> marvel is always up here and dc is like that that's mm-hmm. how it's probably going to be as well yeah most likely so. i agree same thing netflix and disney plus for sure yeah those all are day two. yeah and then I'll I'll share my passwords with select few. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So tell, let us know what you guys think. What are you guys? What would you uh, get if you had twenty dollars a month? What are you gonna do? And uh, let us know what you what are your thoughts about Benny Off and Wise leaving yes. Star Wars. Please comment below. Share, like, subscribe. Remember, well. go ahead, do that right now, please, right now. Por favor. Yes, please. And and stay, stay moving on, dude. Moving on. Peace. Peace.